Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the um, weekly reading for the sign of Taurus. We're going to be taking a look to see what's going to be, you know, going on for you guys this coming week. Um, if this video resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, share, and subscribed. Um, and I do offer private readings. So if this reading resonates with you and you want to look at your own personal situation, a, a closer look, um, there's information in the description box about how to book a personal reading with me. Um, I also will be extending this reading. So there will also be a link in the description box to the extended reading. Um, in the extended, we will take a closer look at the situation. We'll be doing some love oracle cards and we'll also be doing um, a charm reading in the extended reading, okay? I'm going to just give you a deeper look in the situation. Um, pick up on any underlying things that spirit wants to. Any extras, pretty much. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the cards. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Need to scooch my chair up a little bit. I feel like I was reaching. I hope you guys are all doing well. All right, Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus viewers? Five of Swords and five. All right, so right off the bat, guys, we already have two fives out here. There's going to be some, there's changes going to be happening for you guys. Some type of change. Um, I already see a conflict here. There's some type of conflict or tension, um, possibly over money issues or um, someone ghosting or um, someone ghosting you guys. Or this could also be someone breadcrumbing you, not giving you enough, making you feel um, less than you, you know, less than you are. Um, yeah, there's some type of conflict here. Or some feelings of defeat here, not feeling good enough. The devil, yeah, toxicity, the world. But that looks like that's going to be coming to an end. A conflict coming to an end. A, a period of lack coming to an end. Toxicity coming to an end. That cycle's closing out. The sun. Oh my gosh, guys. And you guys are manifesting so much optimism, positivity, and good things here. Happiness. Two of Pentacles, there may be some type of decision that you need to um, make, make or something that you need to balance out in your life um, about a new beginning here. Um, there's something that is trying to be, that's in the process of being birthed into your life here. And there needs to make a, be a make, there needs to be a decision made about that. Four of Swords, um, yeah, it, you need to really spend some time contemplating um, healing from this toxicity that you were in. Um, taking some time for yourself. Okay, guys, we also have the fool. So yeah, a new beginning. You guys are manifesting a new beginning here or a leap of faith towards something. And that could have something to do with this decision that needs to be made as well. All right, guys, let's get some clarifiers out. Whoop, dropping the whole deck. Spirit must have a lot they want to say to you. <laughs> What's the Five of Swords? What's this tension, conflict, defeat? What is this Five of Swords spirit? Hmm. Some conflict over a new beginning in love. Some tension over um, having a new beginning in love. Tell me more about the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups spirit. Four of Swords. Someone is like no longer wanting a new beginning in love or withdrawing from that decision to have that new beginning. Or somebody says that they need more time to think before that. Like, because maybe there was some type of conflict here. Maybe somebody's saying they need more time to think. Five of Pentacles. What's this Five of Pentacles? And it's making someone feel um, unworthy or making someone feel left out in the cold here because they don't know what's going on. The Devil. The Six of Pentacles. So... What's this? The devil. Page of Wands. Well, the devil's coming out here twice. So 
it, you're in a very toxic situation with this person. I don't feel like they're giving you, giving to you. There, there's unequal give and take here because the devil and the six of pentacles came out together. So the six of pentacles is usually about um, reciprocity, okay? An equal give and take. And it came out with the devil. So there's something toxic about the way that you guys give to each other. Someone's maybe giving too much and someone's giving too little. And it's, it's a toxic situation. Page of Wands. This is some type of communication. What's this page of wands? Someone may be saying that um, they don't feel like they're getting enough in this situation and communicating it to the other person that they're going to have a new beginning elsewhere. Maybe that's what this ace of, that maybe that's where this conflict's coming from. Someone's saying that they're withdrawing from a new beginning in love with someone because they're going to take a leap of faith elsewhere because they're not getting enough in this situation what's the devil the hierophant yeah this commitment is toxic guys the world the world and the world yeah this is going to end the cycle is ending with this person that you're with i'm not seeing too much energy i'm not seeing any i don't know let's see what comes out i don't see any um masculine energy like i don't or, or feminine energies i'm not seeing any uh signs coming out yet that are sticking out to me okay that you guys could be possibly dealing with the world what's coming to nine of pentacles yeah ending this situation and becoming single and independent what's the sun ten of pentacles guys so by ending this situation you guys are manifesting long-term stability family um yeah, you guys are manifesting financial stability, family stability, okay? Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You're trying to make a decision on not, whether or not you want to work on something here. Work on what? The sun? You guys are trying to make a decision on who you want to collaborate with, who you think is going to bring you the most happiness, or that's going to have the most positive outcome here. Weighing your options. What's the womb? Two of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of decision. Maybe you guys are blocked from seeing what is bir being birthed here. Or you guys are, need to make a decision that's going to um, birth this new beginning here. Decision. Maybe it's between two people or two different paths. Yeah, to Queen of Cups. You guys maybe need to spend some time just nurturing yourselves. Maybe it's Maybe you don't need to make a decision just yet. Okay? You guys really need to figure out where your emotions lie. The hanged man, yeah, take a pause to be able to gain a new perspective. Um, go. There needs to be, we have death here. So this is gaining a new perspective on an ending, or this is you guys going through a transformation here. Birthing a new you, possibly. Death of what, spirit? Well, I've just realized that this card was sitting over here. Five of wands. Yeah, you guys need to take this, time take this pause to put an end to this mental confliction that you guys have been in what's this card nine of swords yeah you guys have been very up, up in your head having a lot of anxiety about this spirit saying just you don't have to make a decision right now just take your time focus on yourself um four of swords um something fell yeah you just need to take this time to rest um you resting and taking this pause from making a decision is that is going to be putting the work into making a decision if that makes a sense if that makes sense so sometimes you need to just take a break a mental vacation you know what i mean like and i mean you can still be contemplating during that time but you need to take the pressure off of yourself to make a decision for just for right now and you taking this rest and this you know recuperating um this pause it's going to illuminate a path to you guys okay the fool what's the fool four of cups you guys are taking a leap of faith towards a, something that you guys feel like you missed an opportunity with or someone you feel like you missed an opportunity with page of swords or that's how this person this new person that's coming towards you maybe somebody's taking a leap of faith towards you guys and they feel like they missed an opportunity with you and they're watching you here trying to get more information take it how it resonates leave the rest Night, yeah, there's someone coming forth to you guys with a love offer here or an expression of motions and they're watching you and they feel like they missed an opportunity with you or they rejected you in the past, okay? 
Six of Swords. This person may live at a distance from you. They may be wanting to travel to you. Or this is just this is you guys moving into a more peaceful period in your life, okay? Moving on from this toxicity and into a better period of your life. All right, guys, that's what I have for you this week. Like I said, I will be extending this reading if you are interested in that. Um, the link to the extended reading will be in the description box. But if not, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.